Hey guys, so recently the heating element on our dryer went out and I did an experiment comparing, you know, how fast our clothes dry in a dryer versus out on our trampoline. And I think you're gonna find the results to be pretty interesting. But before we go to that, let me just give you a little context. So we've got a large family, we've got a bunch of kids and we do lots of laundry. In fact, to stay on top of our laundry, it probably takes, I don't know, four or five loads of laundry, big loads of laundry every day. Often when we do laundry, you know, we put in these big loads into our dryer and sometimes we put too much and it breaks the dryer belt and we have to replace the dryer belt. In this case, the heating element stopped working. I haven't fixed it yet. And often we have to turn on the dial to make it go to heavy dry, like past 70. So I don't know if, you know, often the dryer's running for like more than an hour and really racking up our electric bill. Last month, we had to pay close to $300 for electricity to run our ACs and to run our dryers so much. So anyways, I decided to do an experiment. We don't have a clothesline set up currently at our house here, but we do have a trampoline and you can see along the edges of the trampoline, I set up a bunch of uh, towels that are hanging. And then I took a couple loads of laundry and I threw them out here on the trampoline and kind of spread them out to dry. I came back about an hour and a half later. Look what I found out. So here's about one load of laundry out on this towel that I just gathered up from the trampoline that are quite dry. The rest that you see on here are basically like 90% dry. There might be a little bit of dampness left on them. So I'm leaving them in the sun for just, you know, another 10 minutes or so. And then most of these um, towels and sheets are all quite dry as well. So I'm about to start folding them up and bringing them inside. Now the cool thing is if you compare how long it took to dry three loads of laundry, it only took about an hour and a half in the sun on our trampoline. Now if I had tried to use our dryer I estimate it probably would have taken about three hours, so about twice as long to dry three loads of laundry. And not only that, I estimate, you know, it probably would have taken, you know, a dollar fifty worth of electricity to do those three loads. And it would have added heat to our already hot house. Now I will mention that for some of our clothes that we dried with our trampoline here, they are kind of not as soft as usual. So like this towel here, you know, it's kind of, uh, Kind of stuck in this form a little bit you know it's not quite as soft or flexible but to me that's not a big deal now if we had a clothesline that'd probably be even better uh, i don't have a clothesline set up i'll probably set one up honestly you know if things got bad and there wasn't electricity it'd be super nice to have a clothesline i was looking at some numbers online and given how often we run our dryer i estimate that we'd save a good thousand dollars a year if we just started drying our laundry outside on the clothesline or on the trampoline. So I'm excited to try drying our laundry outside, both to save some money, but also I think it could save us a lot of time because you know, if I can throw three loads at a time out here on the trampoline and wait for an hour and a half and they're all dry, I mean, then I don't have to run down the stairs and upstairs three times to, you know, start the dryer, empty the dryer. And honestly, that's what holds us up. You know, our washer cycles through pretty quickly you know, in, I don't know, maybe 30 or 40 minutes, it seems like. But our dryer, we often keep it running for like an hour just to get the clothes dry, especially towels. It takes a long time to dry a load of towels. So I'm just curious, what are your thoughts on this subject? You know, do you feel like dryers are worth it? Do you feel like life is better and simpler without a dryer? Have you ever hang dried all of your clothes? Go ahead and comment below your experiences. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you're here for the first time. We'll see you next time.